Commanders, welcome to the ninth part of our guide series. Choosing the right tool for the job and understanding the limits of your vehicle are some of the most important ingredients to success. And today, we'll tell you more about various ammunition types available in Armored Warfare. Choosing the right shells is important no matter what vehicles you pick, and ammo selection is the one choice you'll have to make. There are five basic ammunition types in the game. Kinetic shells, shaped charges, high explosive shells, heat MP shells, squash head shells, and guided missiles. Kinetic shells, as their name suggests, deal damage by their kinetic energy. The really old ones resemble large bullets, while the modern ones resemble arrows made out of hardened material. Kinetic shells are by far the most universal ammunition type in the game. They are suitable for almost every situation and offer decent damage and penetration values. They work well against any type of armor and have high muzzle velocity, which means you can aim straight even at moving targets. In case you aren't sure what shell type to pick, go with kinetic shells. With that being said, they do have a couple of downsides. Most notably, kinetic shells lose penetration over distance and are therefore best used at short to medium ranges only. Only specialized sniping vehicles such as tank destroyers may use them effectively at long ranges. Shaped charges, also called high explosive anti-tank shells, or HEAT in short, are a little more complicated. This shell type works by compressing typically copper layer inside of them into a superheated jet of metal that penetrates armor. At first glance, they seem to be a superior choice to the kinetic shells because they have higher penetration and damage values, sometimes considerably so. However, shaped charges come with a plethora of caveats. For one, starting from mid-tiers, almost every MBT features frontal composite armor, which is very effective against heat shells. Another layer of protection is provided by Explosive Reactive Armor or SLAT Armor, both of which are effective against heat shells. Heat shells also do not fly as fast and thus require careful aiming. As a result, heat shells, while destructive, are best used either against lightly armored targets such as TDs and AFVs, against MBT sides, or against specific weak spots. High Explosive Shells, or HE in short, are the third gun shell type. Simply put, they are large containers of explosives that blow up upon impact, creating shockwaves that can damage components or lighter vehicles. They come with very limited penetration values, but also very high damage values. This allows them to deal limited damage even when they do not penetrate the armor and large HE shell shockwaves can even damage more targets at once. Additionally, if such a shell does achieve a penetration, for example by hitting rear armor or a very light AFV, it can deal an incredible amount of damage, knocking out crew members, causing fires, and even possibly destroying a vehicle outright. On the downside, HE shells fly very slowly and it is therefore difficult to achieve accurate hits in combat. Additionally, against thick frontal armor, they are almost entirely useless. A very specific subtype of heat shells are heat multipurpose shells, or heat MP. These are almost exclusive to Western vehicles with 120mm cannons and are something of a crossbreed between the two previous types. In short, while they mostly work like heat rounds we already discussed, they can also deal some small damage upon non-penetration. High Explosive Squash Head Shells, or HESH in short, are the fourth and at the same time the rarest shell type. They are typically used by British, early American, and some Chinese MBTs. The explosive warhead of these shells is very soft and when it hits a target, it compresses before exploding. They are extremely effective against sloped armor, such as those used by Soviet and Russian MBTs. They also use a different set of weak spots, which is why they are sometimes able to penetrate areas where other shells fail. Please consult the Armor Inspector feature, which will show you which areas of your potential targets are vulnerable. This shell type is generally meant for advanced players only, as it requires memorizing their vulnerable areas. The final ammunition types you'll encounter in the game are guided missiles. These are exactly what the name says – large rockets that can be guided to their target. They typically fly very slowly and feature heat warheads, which means they behave the same way as heat shells 
and have the same weaknesses to composite and explosive reactive armor. Additionally, many high-tier vehicles feature active protection systems, which are specifically designed to deal with guided missiles either by diverting them away from the vehicle or by destroying them outright in the air. It's not all bad, though. For one, guided missiles are truly massive. This means that if they achieve a hit, they will deal incredible damage. Furthermore, only low-tier missiles have a basic heat warhead. Mid-tier to high-tier missiles come with all sorts of improvements, which include tandem heat warheads, thermobaric warheads, top-down capabilities, or self-homing guidance. Tandem heat warheads typically negate most types of explosive reactive armor. Only the most advanced arakets offer protection against this warhead type. Thermobaric missiles replace their heat warheads with high-explosive ones. They can deal much damage even upon non-penetrations and are incredibly destructive against lighter vehicles. Top-down missiles fly above a target and then explode, targeting its weak roof armor. They can be evaded by moving away quickly, but static targets will have little chance of survival. On the downside, their flight time is quite long since the missile has to ascend first, so their usefulness against mobile enemies is limited. And finally, some guided missiles have the self-homing capability. These missiles follow the target automatically without you having to keep it in your crosshairs, although this ability will not match the accuracy of an experienced player. These are the main ammunition types of Armored Warfare. There are more types of ammunition in the game, although these are quite rare. Please check the tooltip of every ammunition type to learn more about its effects. Now you know all that you need in order to choose your ammunition carefully. In the next part of the series, we'll discuss various armor types. But until then, see you on the battlefield!